Good morning, guys. I hope we're all sparkly. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of monitoring both free testosterone and total testosterone. So, free testosterone is more important than total testosterone. Fact or fiction? Well, it's a fact, but it's a little bit more complicated because, as you guys should know if you've done your research, free testosterone is your bioavailable male testosterone level. So your feel-good testosterone. It is circulating around the blood to be used by the tissues. It is only 2% of the total testosterone. Most of your testosterone is actually bound to SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin, and some of it's bound to albumin. It's bound tightly to SHBG and weakly to albumin. That pesky SHBG. Actually, SHBG has a very important role. I've done numerous videos on the topic, but essentially it's a buffer and it helps mediate the DHT to testosterone to estrogen ratio, which is important for what? Physical and psychological well-being. So there is a misconception that you want to lower your SHBG. No, you want to mediate, modulate your SHBG because whilst it has this function of acting as a buffer and optimizing the ratios, it also helps transfer the testosterone into the cell for its actions. What are those actions? Normal physiology. So anabolism, anabolic processes predominate at nighttime, catabolic processes predominate in the daytime. You need to use your testosterone, DHT and estrogen 24 seven. So there's no point producing all this testosterone and it all being free and all being there to be used by the tissues in one go when you need to have a constant, but actually a supply of testosterone that can be manipulated by what? SHBG and albumin. So it's incredibly important to actually have an understanding of physiology before you say, I want to lower my SHBG to free up more free testosterone because you actually need balance something that we bang on about all the time at the Men's Health Clinic. So when you think about free testosterone, your bioavailable male testosterone level, what sort of levels do you want to have? You want to have levels that make you feel good. As we've said before, testosterone is not a feel good hormone. It is a foundation hormone to allow you to achieve the reward hormones through what? Effort. So, Hopefully, a healthy free testosterone will give you energy, mental clarity, a libido. It will also help facilitate the other physiological processes that occur because of testosterone. But as I said, it's not quite as simple as just saying, I want a healthy free testosterone. I don't care about my SHBG. Now, SHBG, it is the most fascinating glycoprotein. It's produced by the liver, as I said, it's a buffer and blah, blah, blah. So what happens when your SHBG goes too low? Well, in testosterone replacement therapy, it's a bit of a pain. Why is it a bit of a pain? Well, we are trying to achieve stable male androgen levels. Now, as you guys know, we subscribe to daily microdosing of testosterone, cypionate and HCG. So the SHBG should not matter if you understand pharmacokinetics but it does. So disappointingly, some guys, even with daily microdosing of testosterone cypionate, do not feel stable because of low SHBG. Think back to what I just said. The ratio of DHT to testosterone to estrogen is incredibly important. These are your three anabolic hormones. They have different effects on different tissues. Let's simply tackle the brain. So estrogen, neuroprotective, obviously. So we want more estrogen. No, we want the right ratio of testosterone to estrogen to DHT. But it is neuroprotective. But anything in excess is deleterious to your health. Anything, everything. Paracelsus, the dose makes the poison. If you drink too much water, it can kill you. 
So estrogen, empathy, insight, understanding. That's why females would make better leaders. However, us men with our high testosterone and DHT levels compared to estrogen, with our drive and determination and our aggression, push them out of the way. So what we really need in a community is a male leader and lots of females underneath us. Oh, I'm gonna get killed for that one. Um, but it's true. So estrogen is necessary for empathy, insight, understanding, and guess what? Libido. So whilst it might be considered the female sex hormone, this is incorrect. Testosterone, drive, determination, motivation. So it obviously stimulates the amygdala in the brain. So make some choices, hopefully wise choices. We've all made bad choices, but hopefully now with insight and understanding of your physiology, you can make some better choices. DHT is purported to be neurotoxic. That's obviously absurd because guess what it's all about? It's about balance. So you need DHT, again, libido, aggression, all of these wonderful male attributes, but guess what you need them in? Balance and stability, the right ratios of testosterone to DHT to estrogen. So excess DHT, how, what, what problems can you have with excess DHT outside of this neurotoxicity? How can you have a neurotoxic chemical in the body? It doesn't make sense because it's about what? Balance. <sighs> so when we think about testosterone and free testosterone, you want to measure both. You want to have a healthy free testosterone and you want to have a healthy total testosterone, but that's actually because you want to have a healthy what? SHBG. Now again, high SHBG, it's a bit of a pain. Why? Because the ratio's wrong. Again, it all comes down to what? Balance and stability, guys. Namaste.